station's about to go to press. You'll have to make some adjustments, that's all. Vicki, your secretary was away from her desk and... I want this to run on the front page of the entertainment section with proper credit. Thank you, Briggs. I hope I'm not interrupting. As a matter of fact, you are. Vicki, please, I came to apologize for what happened at Fraternity Row the other day. The banner sent over a photographer to take some candid shots of the actors. I'm afraid I... well, she caught me in a bad day. Mm, so I heard. Well, then you also heard that I broke Christine's camera. Mm -hmm. I've come to apologize for that and to pay for any damages. Well, that's very nice of you. I don't know about Christine, but I'm not one to hold a grudge. I think everyone's entitled to a bad day now and then. Oh, well, thank you for understanding. Then you won't mind giving me the film that Christine shot of me? I'm sorry, I've already ordered that run in today's edition. No, no, you can't do that. I beg your pardon? I was going to be nice about this, but if you're going to insist on publishing those photographs, I'm afraid I have no other choice but to sue. Young lady, this is not a television show. If you think you can come in here and give a performance and threaten the newspaper, you're sadly mistaken. I'm sorry, I did not meant to threaten you or the newspaper. It's just that I'm, I'm very upset about what happened yesterday. I expect you are upset, but certainly not about what you did. Rather, because you were caught at it. Now you're trying to manipulate me into giving you the photographs. I don't really appreciate these tactics at all. I told you that your photographer caught me off guard. Does that excuse your smashing her camera? Now, wait just one minute here. Whatever I did was done in self-defense. If Miss Cromwell was a bona fide professional, she would have realized it was not a smart idea to sneak up on an actress at work. She was not sneaking up on any actresses. She was merely doing her job, a job which she is eminently qualified to do. And in case you've forgotten, we had your producer's permission to be there. Yes, well, no one checked with me first. That is your photographer's responsibility. Ah, and what of your responsibility? That of professionalism. Seems to me you owe a portion of your success to the public. You should accommodate the press. The working press, yes, not some rank amateur. <laughs> I find your arrogance rather hard to believe. And I can't believe your blind spot when it comes to Christine Cromwell. Tell me something. How is it possible that your sister is so nice and you, on the other hand, are, well, quite the opposite? Yes, it's true that Sarah and I are very different. Mm. She bends over backwards to see the good in people. She must have had to do backflips when it comes to you. I've dealt with some fairly impossible people over the years, Megan. But you're about as stubborn, willful, and totally unwilling to admit that you're wrong as anyone I've ever met. And so are you. But we both know why, don't we, Mrs. Buchanan? You're defending that lousy photographer not because she's on your staff, but because she's your daughter. It's nepotism. Pure and simple. No, no, the problem is not nepotism, it's your egotism. Because you are a so-called television star, you think the world revolves around you, and when it doesn't, you stamp your little feet. Christine took advantage of me by shooting those lousy tabloids. When I protested something that any self-respecting actress would do, how do you respond? By defending my staff. Oh, Bull, you are fighting your daughter's fights for her and using all the power at your fingertips. No, that's not at all true. Well, then why do you insist on publishing those photographs? If that's not revenge, I don't know what is. For the very last time, Christine was doing her job, and I intend to see that her very good work does not go unrecognized. In other words, Mummy is taking care of her little girl. And since Mummy owns the newspaper, she can give her a big cookie right on the front page. Vicky, what's going on in here? Perfect timing, as usual. Christine, would you mind waiting outside till I'm finished with Don't her? Don't worry. I won't lay a glove on the little princess. Congratulations, Christine. You certainly have landed in Clover, haven't you? What are you mad about now? Oh, I'm not mad. I'm impressed. If you continue at this rate and your mother continues to pull her strings, you could be the first photographer to win a Pulitzer Prize for cheap shots. Hmm.